Are you seeing this right now? I am beyond excited because this is the Dexcom G7. And after finally getting FDA approval in early December of 2022, this guy is about to start hitting the market. In this video, I'm gonna give you a first hands-on look at the Dexcom G7 Constant Glucose Monitor. Let's start with talking about the new features of the Dexcom G7, and then I'll walk you through the hardware and the insertion process. Let's kick things off. The Dexcom G7 has an all new design that's actually 60% smaller than the Dexcom G6. I'll give you a hands-on look at both these guys side by side in just a moment. Additionally, it has a faster warm-up time, now only 30 minutes rather than the full two hours that the Dexcom G6 required. Dexcom has now officially allowed the G7 to be placed in more areas. The Dexcom G6 was limited to just the abdomen, though me and many others definitely had worn these other places like the back of your arm. The G7 now works behind the arm for, uh, I believe, two years and older, and for even older folks, you can actually use the upper part of your butt or your lower back that has also been improved for the G7. Again, these were common spots that people used, but they were not officially supported with the G6. Finally, the Dexcom G7 has a redesigned mobile app that includes all the clarity reporting in one single application, no need to download the second one. And this new application has redesigned notifications that you can more granularly customize to be more discreet. Um, I think I've definitely uh, been very worried about going to like, a movie theater and having an alert come through that I didn't want to come through and, and being disruptive in movie theater, even though I knew what was going on with my blood sugar. So yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about new alerts here on the G7. So let's go ahead and take a look at the G7 alongside the G6. Dexcom says the G7 is 60% smaller than the G6. If you look at the actual pieces side by side, it really is a little bit misleading because the G6 does not look much different than the G7 in terms of overall volume or size. But that's because the G7 is an all-in-one piece. This is everything you need. There's the adhesive, the transmitter, the sensor, all in one little piece that gets disposed of after your 10-day wear time. With the G6, you actually had a two-part design. There was the transmitter itself that would last for quite a while, and then you had the insertion piece where it actually had the sensor that went into your body. They were two different pieces. You would throw away the sensors each time and reuse the transmitter. That's no longer the case. And once the G6 is inside of its harness, its holster, or the transmitter itself, it is much larger. If you look at my stomach here where I have this placed right now, the G6 is significantly larger than the G7. The G7 also has like this soft touch finish to the outside, uh, almost like a rubbery feel to it, whereas the G6 is all hard or all solid plastic around there. It feels nicer, the G7 definitely does, and because it is so much slimmer and fits so much closer to your body, I'm definitely expecting to hit this less with my clothes. Sometimes I hated putting it on the back of my arm with the G6, even if not officially supported, um, because as I would take my shirt off, I would catch it. But with the G7, it definitely feels slim enough and it has curved edges. I don't think that is going to be a big deal. So here's our two different insertion tools, and it's a big change. The Dexcom G6 had a single use uh, insertion tool that kind of went in or looked like it was at an angle and shot it into yourself, and then you would remove this and you would clip the transmitter into the sensor. But with the G7, I mentioned already, it's an all-in-one design, so it's no longer the case. This is more like the Abbott Freestyle design in terms of a uh, insertion tool. So if I can remove the bottom here, you'll see we have a spring on the inside. The sensor kind of looks like it actually magnetically clips in there to the inside of this guy. And if I push this back, you can see it kind of locks in. The sensor will sit right into that little hole there in the center. And there's a button on the side. So I can put this against my arm with the transmitter sensor, the G7 in there. Press the button. That's it. Uh, it doesn't really feel like much at all, but that is going to give you that insertion to adhere it to your arm. This will just remove, you cap it off, and then this whole piece can be tossed away. Uh, you're done with it. Each one of these will be, I believe, single use because it's just gonna come all ready to go. Open it, shoot yourself, toss this, and you're ready to go out the door. So I'm pretty excited here. This is only a demo unit, so I don't have full access to the data yet. I can't test this on myself. Uh, Dexcom says it is more accurate, and I'm excited to test this out when it fully launches. It's fully available 
early 2023 is what we're looking at here, but at least this is a first look at the hardware, what this is gonna be when you can get this in your hands. I'm also excited to see when this works with the Tandem T-Slim pumps. Right now, not supported, but they do say they are working closely to get these integrated as soon as possible. So I would not be surprised to see some sort of formal announcement come along in early 2023 from Tandem and Dexcom together. Let me know what you guys think. Are you excited about the new Dexcom G7? Let me know in the comments down below. Oh, by the way, I'm throwing this in at the end, uh, but Dexcom does tell me that the new G7 will also eventually be able to connect directly to Apple Watch. So you could leave your phone in the car, head out on a hike or a run, and have your blood glucose showing up on your watch the entire time. For me, this is a huge feature. I was hoping to see it with the G6, but it never surfaced. It looks like it'll be coming here with the G7. Anyway, that wraps it up. Thank you again for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.